everyone, Bailey here again with another common tree ID, ID video for the city of Lincoln, Nebraska. Today we're going to be looking at a tree called the silver maple. The scientific name is Acer saccharinum. It's a little bit of a mouthful. But so the Acer genus is the maple genus and saccharinum is the species name. Silver maples are a beautiful long-lived tree. They're typically found growing along stream banks or in very wet areas because they like a lot of water but they've adapted pretty well to live in urban areas as well. So you'll see these planted all around the city. Let's talk about a couple features that let us know that this is a maple generally, and then we'll talk a little bit about this species. So first of all, if I look into the crown of the tree, I can see that the branching and the leaf arrangement of the tree is opposite, which means when I look at where the leaves are coming out of the branch, I can see they're directly across from each other instead of alternating their way up the branch. So that at least helps you narrow it down to the fact that it's opposite, and then the typical shape for maple leaves is something like this. They're almost always going to have five to seven lobes, and each of these is a lobe. So in the case of silver maple, they will always have five lobes, and specifically the lobes are super pointy, and you'll see that there are these little teeth along the side. We call these little jagged parts coming out teeth. So for silver maple on the top side we'll see that they have five really distinct lobes that are very pointy with these deep sinuses and pointy teeth and really what gives it the name silver maple is that the underside of the leaf is a whitish silver color. So especially when we have a really windy day like today and we see them moving in the breeze we always want to look for that underside being really silvery. So again silver maple we'll look for this really distinct bark. So all maples actually have very different bark from one another and that helps us as well. In the case of silver maple, when it's young, it's just gonna kind of be a silvery gray color, fairly smooth. And as it ages, like this pretty old tree where we have a couple of trunks, it, it will develop these flat topped ridges. So these little pieces that are slightly curved that you see on top. And it'll still maintain that silvery color, but we'll see a little bit of reddish orange sometimes underneath. And a final really interesting feature about silver maple is it's almost always multi-stemmed. So what that means, see how this looks like three trees? These are actually all have the same root system, but as they age, they tend to have multiple main branches. And so the fact that it's multi-stemmed, or basically a bunch of trees growing out of one, is another really interesting feature about silver maple. So take a look for these when you're out on your next neighborhood walk. They're growing all over this city, and they're a beautiful tree. Thanks for watching.